Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me reacting to my first period story time to celebrate one year of having periods. I'm obviously pre-recording this video, but the day that this video is going up is November 6, 2021. And the day that I got my first period was November 6, 2020. And so I really wanted to do a video kind of just in honor of my one year period anniversary because I do so many period videos on my channel. So I decided that I would react to my first period story time because not only is it my first period story time but it is also the first ever period related video that I did on my channel. This is the video where it all started and this was actually published on April 30th 2021 and so it was published approximately six months after I got my first period. So now it's been a year after I got my first period so I really wanted to like react to the story time and the whole video and everything. I'm also if you can tell wearing my period themed shirt to film this video because it is my one year period celebration or I don't even really know why I'm celebrating because who would want to celebrate every single month out of this year bleeding out of my body for a week straight? Actually, to celebrate my one year period anniversary even more than I already am, I actually just uploaded another first period related video today because today was November 6th, my one year period anniversary just happened to be one of my uploading days, which is a Saturday. And so after you're done watching this one, you should definitely go check out the other one that I uploaded today as well. It is a bonus upload, meaning that it is the first time that I have uploaded two videos on the same day at the same time time so you should definitely go check out my second one after watching this video just to celebrate my one year period anniversary even more so yeah before we get into this video please like this video and comment down below why you're here like if you are a returning viewer because I am probably assuming that you are because this is kind of more of a personal period related video but if you aren't I mean did you like search this up do you like watching people like reacting to like period stuff and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel because if you are new to my channel I do so many other period related videos which is why I'm celebrating my one year period anniversary on my channel and so if you're interested in those then subscribe because I have so many planned and I have already done so many so you should go check those out if you are interested in some more period content and so yeah I do not want to talk anymore I want to react to my first period story time which is also the first period video that I ever did on my channel so let's get into the video so I have my computer right here so that I can do like a whole screen recording so that you guys can like see what I'm reacting to. I have not seen this video since it was uploaded which was six months ago and so yeah I'm just going to react to it so here we go. Why did I upload myself to the internet looking this way? I'm actually on my period right now, so T1, but that is why I look like this and this, and why I'm wearing sweatpants to film this video. <laughs> I just honestly thought that was like so funny because literally like even right now I'm wearing sweatpants to film this video. What is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be my first period story and then after I tell that story I'm going to give anyone out there who has just gotten a period or who hasn't gotten a period yet but needs some tips or just anyone out there who has a period some tips on having your period. This is literally where the whole period idea for my channel channel started. It's so funny because I just thought because I was starting up my YouTube channel again and I thought to myself hey maybe I should like do a video on my first period story time. I don't know people might like that. A little disclaimer if you're watching this and I don't know why you would be because it's literally a natural process but if you're disgusted which you shouldn't be if you think that periods <laughs> are not something that should be openly talked about and you're going to feel offended or weirded out by this video then please click off because this is probably not the right video for you. I feel like I got a lot nicer on my YouTube channel. I was like going through it here. Anyway, let's get into this video. So first period story. Here we go. So I was 13. I'm 14 now. I turned 14 on January 28th. So actually I'm almost 15 now because the date that this video is going up is as I said November 6th and my birthday is in January, January 28th. So I'm going to be turning 15. So crazy. It was just a normal day. I went for a walk with my family yep. like a couple hours before and I kept saying I felt bloated and I just felt sick. Like, I felt so nauseous and bloated. And this is so true and like I thought about it more after and it just makes so much sense like I feel like a lot of people feel like really sick like they almost have like food poisoning right before they get their first period it's just like so funny to me but yeah I can't believe it's been like a year since this day that I'm talking about like in this video like a year ago today the day that you guys are seeing this video I had no idea I was about to get my period my first period it's so crazy but then I came home and I 
I, yeah, I took a shower and then I went to watch TV and I was eating yep. some popcorn. It was making me more bloated, so I stopped and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> so before I tell you how it happened, I didn't, I, okay, I was praying for my period. I was so stupid. Yep, and I still think I was very dumb to pray for my period. Anyway. I thought it was going to be like gushing. Okay, no. I'm not that stupid. I thought. Why do I feel like my YouTube channel like with periods is so much different now? Like honestly, this was like the first period video I ever did. So I didn't really like know how to talk about periods normally. So I'm sorry if like this video was like so awkward. I have no idea why it has almost 50,000 views. Like. I was going to like feel wet down there or I thought I was going to feel like something weird or like there would be a stain on something or I'd say something and then I know. No. So I went to the bathroom. That is so true. I didn't feel like I was getting my period when I went to the bathroom and like you'll hear about it now like if you haven't watched this video yet but like I thought I would feel something and I didn't like I didn't this is totally true this is again TMI but this whole video is TMI so that moment when I used to think that periods were TMI I was doing that <laughs> yep <laughs> I don't know how to say this without sounding weird, but like my family is very open and so my mom and my little brother came in when I was finishing because I was in the family bathroom. I was finishing up and I wiped and it was this weird like reddish pink purplish like light color. That's honestly what I still remember like thinking back a year now. This is such an accurate recount. I still kind of remember what the toilet paper looked like. Like it was purple but it was like also light pink like red. I don't even know. I didn't see it at first. My mom was like in there so she was like what is that? And I was like I don't know. So then I realized I think we both realized at the same time. Mom and I like locked eyes and we were like you got a period? It's so, <laughs> so true. I went into shock I think because I just did. And my mom was like clapping and like crying and she was like, yeah. I'm actually really glad I didn't have to go and tell my mom. I'm glad she was actually there with me even though it was weird, you know? Yeah, like honestly, I'm so glad because like I was really stressing before I got my first period but like how I was gonna tell my mom because like I wanted it to be a special moment but I'm so glad she was in there with me. And when I say I was in shock, like I still remember the feeling like I was like, is this actually happening to me right now? Like I was so in shock because I was like so stressed and excited about my first period. There was like so much anticipation for me like leading up to it. My mom was really excited and I was just sitting there like, I took a video. So accurate. So my mom takes a pad out of the drawer and she's like, okay, put this on. She literally put it on for me. Yeah. And I eventually like came to and realized and the thing I kept saying was, this is not how I pictured it happening at all. I just kept saying that because it wasn't. Yeah, I did not expect to get it at night. I did not expect to like get it at home. Yeah, so I guess like some of my like thoughts remain intact. It's like so funny like what you remember. Like after six months versus like after a year. My period that early, I was 13. My mom got her period when she was 15. I'm 14 now. I thought I was going to get it when I was like 14 or 15. Yeah. I got it when I was 13. Like I thought I would get it at the age like I am now like 14 almost 15 just because my mom got hers late and I texted my best friend yep. the Japanese flag Because it literally <laughs> looks like a pad with a period stain on it It was our little joke for whenever we got our period we were gonna text that I can insert right now a little screen recording I recorded the text just in case I ever lose them because I'll want to hold on to these one day Here are the texts that we had that night <laughs> I'm so happy I have this video like in the future for me to like look back on like I just think it's so funny I didn't want to ruin my favorite sweatpants which were white so I had to change into these black sweatpants that were way too big on me yeah that was very traumatizing for 13 year old me I literally had a massive diaper between my legs my first period was light on the second ish third ish day it started getting a little heavier and I don't like blood the morning after i the night i got my period i woke up and i saw this huge stain on my pad and i almost threw up no like i actually still remember this and i was thinking about it like i remember more after filming this video i remember that moment seeing the pad with the actual blood on it because when i first got my period it was like really light the day after when i woke up because it happened at night it was like heavy like it got heavy on that second day i was so scared like honestly i still remember that feeling like i was just scared i didn't like want the blood coming out of me it was like so new to me i'm not that way anymore but like i remember feeling so scared so like if you're watching this you haven't gotten your first period yet it's so normal i promise you is not supposed to be discriminatory to women i'm a woman myself and i am grossed out by the sight of blood so i don't know if that's gonna work because i'm gonna keep getting periods 
I think I had like four or five more periods after this. As I said, my periods have been so irregular um, since like getting it and they were like so irregular here. But I have gotten a bit more used to the blood. Now it's kind of just more like annoying to me. So I feel like I have grown a lot since filming this video because it was still like I was still six months in when I filmed this video and now I'm like a year into having periods and it's less scary for me. I'm reading off my computer right now because I just wanted to write notes on what a period feels like and I'm going through it right now. But like I came up with a really good description of what it's like. So it feels like... I don't know if this is just a period symptom or something's wrong with me, but it feels like you don't have a midsection because you're either numb from all the horrible cramps. That bad that I had to once take Motrin, so that was fun. I was still new to having periods, but like little did I know I would actually be taking pain medication every time I was on my period because my cramps just got worse. Also, I just want to say not to be like some... <gasps> Why was I so sassy? Women can do anything a man can do. I'll bleed it. And I want any of you out there watching this to remember that. We have to walk around pretending we're okay because of men and society and patriarchy. I swear to God. I was, I was so iconic. What is this? We have to walk around acting like we're fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. When really we just want to collapse because we're so weak from losing all the blood that we're losing when we're on our period. It's like a slingshot. Like your uterus is going... I love that description. I still use that description when I'm like describing cramps. I've only had, I'm on my fourth period of my life so far. I got like four to five more periods after this, but they've been so regular, so I haven't gotten like 12 periods, even though it's been like 12 months since I got my first period. So I feel the same. Like one in December, and then it went away for four months because it didn't come back till, <laughs> and then I was having weird spotting, and I didn't know what it was that was about so I called my pediatrician and she was like it's normal it's just your hormones I'm actually still going through this I'm actually going to the doctor soon like when you're seeing this video like I'm going to the doctor soon because my periods are just like so irregular and it's been a year of having them and I know it's normal for the first like five years even of having periods for them to be irregular but like I'm still going back to the doctor I'm gonna move on to period tips but before I do can I just if there's anyone watching this that hasn't gotten their period please for me relish in these moments. Listen to six months ago, Ruby. I'm actually also gonna react to these period tips because I like want to see if I still agree with them like six months later. So I'm gonna give five period tips in this video. The first one is need a pair <laughs> of dark sweatpants. Yup. Also like dark underwear and like more pairs than just like one. Little like behind the scenes thing. Since this was my first ever period video, I did not have these tips written down. I remember actually the clip that I filmed like for this was so long. I was sitting there thinking of all of the tips to include in the video. Now I'm more organized and now that I like do period videos and like period tips videos and all of that, I actually map out the videos and like the tips I'm going to include in the videos before I film them. Not only, I just went to get myself my period tips. I still have them. Wait, let me go get them. I, I need I need to do this. I still have them. These are honestly gonna be my period sweatpants for life. I'm not even kidding, guys. My second tip for you guys is to buy every kind of pad out there. Regular ones, ones with wings, overnight pads, the really thick like diaper pads that remind you of the diapers you used to wear like in the womb. That made literally zero sense. Why did I post this to the internet? Third tip is to go Easy on yourself. No matter what anyone says, <laughs> put a gush of blood out of your body and you're not dying. You deserve to lie down and watch Gilmore Girls on Netflix and eat a freaking chocolate bar. I am still addicted to Gilmore Girls and I'm still addicted to chocolate. My fourth tip is to get dark bed sheets. And I honestly don't follow this. I obviously have white bed sheets, so I'm not following my own tip. I'm thinking of what was I gonna say? getting dark sheets. Six months later, still have not gotten dark sheets. That's fun. And my fifth tip, while it seems like this is going against everything I've been saying in this whole video, is to love having a period. <laughs> Literally, I could create one day another human just like me because I'm bleeding out of my body. That is freaking amazing. Females, anyone with a uterus is amazing that they have the ability to create life. Anytime you're weak or exhausted or you stain something or you feel weak or like you don't have a midsection or you're having cramps or a clot coming out of you, just remind yourself, I can create humans. I'm pretty darn freaking amazing. I want you to remind yourself that actually right now. So let's listen to Pastor Ruby again. Take a moment and remind yourself that if you have periods, you can create humans. That is, as Ruby said, six months ago, that is pretty darn freaking amazing. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.
I How did you guys put up with my personality? That's my one question This video got over 1,000 comments at the time I'm uploading this video It had 45,000 views. I remember this like I remember uploading this video I can actually insert some pictures of like the thumbnail process for this video Like I just remember editing this video. I remember filming this video I remember being like should I upload this? It's kind of TMI, but like I was like hey, why not? That was an iconic video looking back at this a year after I got my first period I love that video so much and I'm so glad that I decided to upload it to YouTube so yeah, anyway guys, that is it for this video. I honestly think that this was a really nice celebration thing for me to do. I really, really enjoyed watching my first ever period video that I uploaded to my channel. I feel like I've grown a lot since then. I was debating whether or not I should upload this to the internet. And now whenever I film a period video, it's like, I don't even think about it. Like, I just upload it to the internet. Honestly, I'm so glad I got my period when I did because, like, it really inspired me to start talking about periods more, to start normalizing periods more, because I know that there's so many other people out there who, like, watch this video. And I think it, like, really helped them, honestly. It's not even the act of, like, giving periods tips it's like just talking about them like literally just talking about periods it really helps to like normalize it one of the goals of my youtube channel is to really like advocate for more period education more period teaching i just really want to help to advocate for period normalization that's like one of the main goals of my youtube channel i cannot believe that i've had periods for a year it's so crazy and so yeah comment down below what your first period anniversary is if you've gotten your first period and if you haven't gotten your first period yet comment down below when you think you're gonna get your first period i'm just really really happy that i got my period when i did so that i could create period content for you guys so yeah before before you leave, please like this video, and if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below, congratulations on one year of having periods, Ruby, because like, I really wanted to celebrate my one year period anniversary with the community of people who want to normalize periods, it just makes me so happy. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, because I do so many other period videos, and I really think you might enjoy those if you are looking for some period content to watch on YouTube. And yeah, that is it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching it, congratulations to me on my one year period anniversary, and I love you guys. Bye.